Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Sunday night. Well, probably Monday morning by now. It is late and I am tired. But, um, I know I promised you guys I would bring you along for the finish up of the well board. And that, honestly, the video was way too long. Uh, I would have bored you to death and that wouldn't have been good for either one of us. Um, but I did get it. So right now I got a lot done today. I got the front and the rear units all bolted down and, uh, our bolt is screwed down <clears throat> to the bears and I milled up the wellboard, fit it and bolted it, cut it to length. Everything is good in the world of a cordless carpenter. Voila! So as you can see, this tool well is very important. It's uh, you're able to get all your tools and everything out of the way and still be able to pass, you know, whatever your workpiece is across the top. So now, the whole thing is kind of, I, I would hope anyways, starting to come together. If you've never seen this kind of bench, it's starting, hopefully it's starting to make sense. Um, I guess as a... Now the bench tops are not flat. That's the next step, but you kind of get the picture now. That's where your tools go, and so that you know you don't knock your chisels and all your expensive uh, tools and everything off onto the floor. It all ends up right here. It stays right here. So tired right now, but this is so nice having a. Frickin' tool well. Yes! One more step down. Took a long time to get this far. Two months ago, I milled the first, the first piece of lumber for this uh, bench. And, uh, you know, working diligently on this thing every weekend and every night, almost, for two months straight <clears throat> to get to this point. And it's still not done. <laughs> I still got to flatten the top. I'll plane the top down and... Uh, I'll plane the top down and mount the vices. I still have to, to I still have to uh, do some finishing touch-ups on the ends. Uh, as I, I plan on, as of right now anyway, I plan on uh, putting end caps on the end of this. Maybe I won't, maybe I will. But that's kind of the idea, the, the path I'm going right now. And so I still have to mount my vise, my main vise, and my tail vise. So plane it down, mount vices, dog hole system, rabbit for this. Still got a long way to go. Um, but with the exception of flattening the top, planing the top, the bench itself, the bench itself is done. I still have to obviously finish it and everything like that too, but it's so nice. All the lumber is together. All the lumber is bolted together or wedged together or mortise and tenon together. And I have no more worries about lumber sitting, warping, twisting, and everything else. The bench is together, and it is rock solid. 
I mean, <laughs> this thing is a beast. A beast. You know, earlier I said three or four hundred pounds. And, you know, I'm just picking up one side of it. This son of a bitch is probably closer to four or five hundred pounds. If I was a betting man, I'd say it was somewhere in that neighborhood. This is... I don't, I don't know. It, maybe it's not that much, but it's freaking heavy. But anyway, so we're getting there. Almost done. It's all downhill from here. All downhill from here. It'll be interesting mounting the vise. Because <clears throat> um, I want the... On, on one hand, I want the chop to be... I want the rear chop the rear jaw of the vise to be flush with the apron and on one uh, on the other hand I want I don't want it flush with the apron so we'll see how that goes I might have a notch out in the apron or something because I, I want to be able to saw and, and things like that so we'll see we'll see how it goes but there's a lot left to go so this is a status update. This is where I sit right now. Rock solid. Fan, friends and family, I love you. Everybody else, I'll see you on the next go around.